You get paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve. There's a tremendous bias against taking risks. Everyone is trying to optimize their S covering. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop, where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. If you're trying to create a company, it's like baking a cake. You have to have all the ingredients in the right proportion. Physics is a good framework for thinking, boil things down to their fundamental truths and reason up from there. In terms of the internet, it's like humanity acquiring a collective nervous system. Whereas previously we were more like a, like a collection of cells that communicated by diffusion. With the advent of the internet, it was suddenly like we got a nervous system. It's a hugely impactful thing. I could either watch it happen or be a part of it. As much as possible, avoid hiring MBAs. MBA programs don't teach people how to create companies. Any product that needs a manual to work is broken. I take the position that I'm always to some degree wrong, and the aspiration is to be less wrong. If you get up in the morning and think the future is going to be better, it is a bright day. Otherwise, it's not. When I was in college, I wanted to be involved in things that would change the world. Now I am. If something is important enough, you should try even if the probable outcome is failure. You should take the approach that you're wrong. Your goal is to be less wrong. Don't be afraid of new arenas. You want to be extra rigorous about making the best possible thing you can. Find everything that's wrong with it and fix it. Seek negative feedback, particularly from friends. The idea of lying on a beach as my main thing just sounds like the worst. It sounds horrible to me. I would go bonkers. I would have to be on serious drugs. I'd be super duper bored. I like high intensity. There needs to be an intersection of the set of people who wish to go, and the set of people who can afford to go, and that intersection of sets has to be enough to establish a self-sustaining civilization. My rough guess is that for a half million dollars, there are enough people that could afford to go and would want to go. But it's not going to be a vacation jaunt. It's going to be saving up all your money and selling all your stuff. Like when people moved to the early American colonies, even at a million people you're assuming an incredible amount of productivity per person because you would need to recreate the entire industrial base on Mars. You would need to mine and refine all of these different materials, in a much more difficult environment than Earth. There would be no trees growing. There would be no oxygen or nitrogen that are just there. No oil dot excluding organic growth. If you could take 100 people at a time, you would need 10,000 trips to get to a million people. But you would also need a lot of cargo to support those people. In fact, your cargo to person ratio is going to be quite high. It would probably be 10 cargo trips for every human trip, so more like 100,000 trips. And we're talking 100,000 trips of a giant spaceship. If we can establish a Mars colony, we can almost certainly colonize the whole solar system, because we'll have created a strong economic forcing function for the improvement of space travel. We'll go to the moons of Jupiter, at least some of the outer ones for sure, and probably Titan on Saturn, and the asteroids. Once we have that forcing function, and an Earth-to-Mars economy, we'll cover the whole solar system. 
But the key is that we have to make the Mars thing work. If we're going to have any chance of sending stuff to other star systems, we need to be laser focused on becoming a multi planet civilization. That's the next step. I would just question things. It would infuriate my parents. That I wouldn't just believe them when they said something cause I'd ask them why. And then I'd consider whether that response made sense given everything else I knew. I'm interested in things that change the world or that affect the future and wondrous, new technology where you see it, and you're like, wow, how did that even happen? How is that possible?